module, we will review how to add contacts and manage contacts in your bubble portal. First, you will want to log in. Once you are logged in, you will see contacts on your left menu bar. Here, we'll give you two options. You can add contacts individually, or you can bulk import a contact list from a CSV file. First, we will review how to add an individual contact. They'll want to enter a first name and last name of the contact as these fields are required. You can choose to add a display name or nickname. You'll be required to enter a primary phone number that allows for text messaging. You can choose to enter an email address, business name, phone or office number, or fax number. Time zone is required. You can enter a home or business address, and you can assign them to a preferred agent. Anytime a new conversation is started with this contact, if the agent is available, they'll be routed to that agent first. You can also designate a default group. Anytime they start a new conversation, they will be routed to this group and follow the group rules if there are agents available. You can also assign a tag to this contact, which will make it easier for you to sort when sending messages. Here you will see I have my contact created with their first name, last name, their primary phone number, time zone, and I've added a tag that they're a VIP client. If I would like to add a picture of my contact from my desktop images and upload an image. Choose Save. And now my contact has been created and I've received a notification. Our second process is to bulk import contacts from a CSV file. You will choose Bulk Import. In the top right corner, you will see a button for Choose File. Here's where you will upload your CSV file. Once your file is uploaded, you will need to map your columns. So you will use the drop down and map each column as desired. If there's a column that is part of your CSV file that you would not like to upload to your bubble portal, just leave the toggle on ignore discard and it will not be uploaded to the portal. Once you have mapped your columns, you will choose import. In the top right corner, it will let you know the status of your import and your contacts will be uploaded. To manage contacts in your contact list, find your contact and choose the edit button on the far right corner. Here we will edit blue moon. You will see the contact information populate for your contact and you can change or add or remove any information for this contact. If you would like to delete this contact, you can choose the delete button. If you would like to choose to blacklist this contact, you can choose the blacklist button. If a number is blacklisted, they will not receive messages from you. You can choose convert to user if this contact now needs to be a user and their contact information will show up in your user tab. Once back on the contact screen, you can sort between your contacts, which contacts are active, which contacts have been blacklisted, which contacts are currently blocked, and which contacts have been deleted. Let's visit the remaining options on your contact screen. If you need to export your contact list, you can export a copy to your computer. Here, we'll let you choose the fields that you want to export into your CSV file and choose Download CSV File. A copy will then be saved on your computer. The next option is flush. If you would like to get rid of contacts that have message send errors, 
you can remove those from your contact list. Choose flush and choose how many failed deliveries a contact must have in order to be flushed and where would you like that contact to go? Blacklist or the delete list. You are now ready to upload and manage your contacts.